Hi Pisces, welcome back to Clear Compassion. This is Deirdre. Thank you so much for joining the channel. I am here with Spirit to bring light, love, and clarity from the divine. So please take the messages that are meant for your highest good and leave that which does not resonate. We're going to go into the soul truth first and see what's going on, what's coming up, and what is the importance of your future. What lies ahead for you today? Thank you so much, Spirit. What passion am I ready to pursue? This couldn't come at a better time because as the full moon has passed in the last day or so, depending on where you live currently, right? That is about releasing anything negative, any toxic emotions, things that burden you or weigh you down, for instance. And now it's fresh, right? It's like every morning day that you wake up. What do you want to do? What do you want to accomplish? What is going to um, propel you forward? And what's going to take place is a renewed mindset of rejuvenating your energy force, okay? We're entering into Scorpio season, so there's going to be luck on your side. There's also going to be um, a place of standing in your truth. So what's happening here is when you recognize that when you're passionate about something, right, you don't mind taking on the workload. You don't mind the extra time that it may um, take away from pleasure, right, because you're working on something, you're working towards a goal, right? So you're, you're not giving up and you're not giving in to what you're passionate about. Something that you want to do is ready to come alive. Thank you so much, Kiwi. I'm going to need some of the board. Do you want to um, stay where you are? All right, we're going to use the left half of the board while Kiwi is resting patiently. And we're going to see what messages Spirit has for you on your journey. Thank you so much, ancestors and higher beings, for the wise ones who are teaching us what we do not know. All right. Let me just cut these over here. Okay, we were just talking about when you're passionate about something. You see the clocks here? This is about you balancing your time. This is about you being able to balance yourself within the rough waters. I'm not saying that anything turbulent is coming your way. What I'm saying is it's just like in your 3D realm where you need to um, pay attention to time management, right? If you're feeling exhausted, that that means your body's telling you to take a break. If you feel like you're sitting on the couch when you could be doing something productive, then you're going to get off of that couch and you're going to do something. You're going to take a step forward. All right. This is Archangel Zekiel and it is the two of earth. Your two of earth is your pentacles. This is about you working towards your future. What do you want that to look like? Because the infinity symbol that's here on this gentleman's shirt is saying this is for eternity. This is something that you will take with you, right? It's something that you're going to learn about yourself and that is going to become another tool in your box that you will be able to use and rely on in the future, okay? There's something about bringing things into balance and this is where you're able to juggle multiple priorities. So this could be you know, very simple things and whatever's going on in your life, you will recognize where can I spend my time wisely? What is going to work for me and what is going to deplete me so that you understand what's going to work for you is where you want to apply your energy and your time and your focus. There you are, the high priestess, okay? And again, we're talking about the ancestors and the wise one. These are the people that have passed on in previous lives that you can call upon, all right? And this is where they have already experienced a great deal. So regardless of your age, okay, there's a lot about education out there and there's a lot about having these gifts and manifesting and having a joyful, grateful attitude. But there's also a good portion of you that needs to listen when you listen to others, when you research. There's more that you will learn from people who have already done similar tasks 
that you're about to embark on, right? And so this is Archangel Haniel, and this is about your intuition, your psychic abilities that will call upon you to know, okay, this is where I need to sit still for a minute and listen to others, right? And take just the important parts from what you hear, what resonates with you so that you can use that on your journey. There's also something here about developing more on your intuition, okay? This is going to help you stay poised, all right, in your work re relationships, in your family environment, and even in your um, relationship with yourself, right? Getting to know yourself better. Okay, now we have the Seven of Swords. This is Archangel Raguel. And Archangel Raguel comes in to bring justice, okay? This is empowering the underdog. Now, for me, this is about the magpie who is showing you the way, the direction. What are you taking? What are you running away from? Where over here, there is a peaceful community, right? Is this you here in this community and somebody else is running away with something that belongs to you? There's something in this card that um, it's like having a loss of peace of mind, right? But from this loss of peace of mind, you find your freedom. You find ways to recognize how strong you are within yourself, okay? And this is, this is not always um, a really good energetic card. If you don't mind, I'm going to pull a kipper on this because sometimes it's about a loss of a possession. So let's see if the kipper can give us some advice. Hmm. I mean, Pisces, I know how strong you are. I know you face your fear. And I know your mental state can be um, one of an emotional turmoil. And, and, and so it's really, really important that something is showing me here. This sword reminds me of the cross, right? So you want to call upon your God. Excuse me. <laughs> You're going to call upon your God when you feel times of worry. And let's just go ahead and see what this card is. Something about despair. Okay, angels, give me more about this despair. It's just feeling a sense of loss. Why are you feeling a sense of loss? What is this? Can you please clarify, angel? What is this loss? Is this a mental state of mind or a tangible thing? Kiwi, you're kind of in the way, babe. Great fortune. Through this loss comes great fortune. Through some sort of loss comes great fortune. Okay, I'm going to ask you to scooch. Thank you. All right. So we have a positive outcome from here. So it's about you facing your fear and understanding that whatever is going to take place is for your, your highest good, for something greater. All right, let's keep going on with the reading. Thank you, Spirit. Something about faith, keeping your faith in the situation. The Chariot, okay, Archangel Metatron. Again, Archangel Metatron is all about time management, but this is about rewards that come, right, from your hard work. And this is successfully balancing, again, successfully balancing what is happening, what, what you're prioritizing, right? And this is determination, it's willpower. So again, there's something, something that's going to take place that's going to um, open your eyes, open your eyes to the way that you are perceiving a situation. And once you do that, right, then this great fortune comes in. What this great fortune looks like for each of you is going to be different. It looks like it's around work. Okay, here we have the three of pentacles. So, when we open up our minds and our hearts and we connect with the passion that's in our soul, 
right? This is again, Archangel Raguel coming in and helping us. This, this could be something that you do that supports the underdog. Something that you do that gives light and love, right? We talk about this a lot, the lighthouse, you being the beacon for another or several others, okay? Through your artistry, which is some sort of creative gift that you have been given by Lord so that you can use it for its highest good. It's not meant for you to keep to yourself, right? And this is where you will also receive the recognition. The moon, the moon has passed. And when we get the moon card, this is about listening to your intuition. So during the weeks that led up to the full moon that just recently passed, what were you paying close attention to? What kept coming up for you that was calling you to maybe do something different than what you had already planned, right? So this is where spirit wants you to pay attention to those whispers, those signs from the divine, because they came from a part of you as we are all connected with the divine. And this is now where the full moon has passed. We have released that unnecessary worry, right? We have let go of our fears. And regardless that your will, your faith, and your hope is going to carry you forward. Don't let your ego get in the way. All right, this is the five of fire. So when we start to shine, we attract both forces, negative and positive. And spirit wants you to pay close attention to you, how you hold your integrity, what your word means, the way that you speak to others. <clears throat> if you ignore those who try to bring harm on you, or if you pray for them and wish them well, right? And show them the kinder, gentler side so that they can see the difference, the contrast for themselves. That doesn't mean that you have to prove to them that they are wrong in their ways. That just means that you shine the light and let them see it for themselves, whether they do at that juncture, right? At that encounter or after you leave and you never see that person again. But something that you said to them left them thinking, gave them pause for later, okay? So this is very important because Archangel Jeremiah helps us with evaluating your life, your circumstance, developing yourself and your gifts, and let others take their own journey in stride. Just as you have been forgiven for your sins and you have been given unconditional love from God, right? That's what each of us receive. And so it is not for you to judge, but just Show yourself in a loving, compassionate way. And that's it. Nothing more. Okay, now we have the Page of Swords. I like this one much better, right? So through all of these things that you're balancing and juggling your time and you're understanding the, your perception of things, and then you start to like really move forward. I feel like you're going to progress a lot in December, okay? but you're also learning a lot about yourself along the way and you're experiencing other people, um, different, different characters in the movie that um, play in your life, right? Uh, that come in and leave. Um, and, and it's short periods of time. And the reason for that is it's just to show you something. One, it's to show you your growth. And then secondly, it's to show you what you still need to work on because none of us are perfect. If you were, you wouldn't be here, right? And your journey would end. You, you now are embarking on expanding yourself. So this transition that has been taking place for quite some time is really cool because they're showing me like shining the coin, you know, it's like, 
it's like there's something more to you yet to be revealed. And so you are being polished along the way and you are catching the attention of others. But more importantly, you're making a spiritual connection with your God and with yourself. Transformation, I couldn't pick it out. <laughs> Thanks so much, Archangel Chamuel. All right, this is your tower. This is the transformation. This is the good tower. The good tower, now, not every tower is bad. You know, a lot of people think of it as, oh my God, it's doom, it's gloom. This is a transformation to show you how you can turn something old, into something new, right? They're showing me refurbishing furniture. Um, again, with the coin, the polishing. So it's like you are transforming, but also revisiting your soul connection with oneself, okay? This is powerful. And often the tower is unexpected, but the tower card is like sudden change. So <laughs> I can't say be ready for this. Just know that it's going to take place, okay? Because it's usually least unexpected. Um, but the time has come. You see the hourglass here. The hourglass is almost empty down on the bottom. Okay, so that means that wherever you are now in your life, you are being transformed, ascended to a better place for you, a gift from God for you. It is a blessing. Remember that when you go through this tower moment. It comes with healing. This is good. There's something here, not just in your soul, but your heart. Your heart now comes out, is open. Who? This card always gets me emotional. Um, and the reason why is it's because it's a happy emotion of that joy, that grace, that feeling of elation uh, where you make a connection with your own heart and you're able to wear that outside of yourself, uncovering it, no longer guarding it, right? Archangel Azrael, it's a tender grace. This is something that um, allows you to not just heal, but understand where the love is and where it's been hidden. Yeah, this is really, really good. I want to hug you all. Mm. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pick a card from Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael, what advice do you have for this reading? Thank you so much for all of the healing hearts. Oh, love to feel that love, to experience that love, to hold it as its most important. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for joining and protecting always. Open up to your spiritual gifts. So remember that your true nature is spiritual. So all of this that's taking place is for your spiritual connection. Don't worry about your 3D world. I know that there's work involved here, but the work is from passion. So it's not really work. It's not a job. It's, it's, um, it's the journey that matters. It's the experiences that matter, right? And because of all of this, you're making a spiritual connection with yourself 
reconnecting with your God and your angels, thus transforming yourself outwardly so what's inside comes out. They're showing me the flower. It's like the rose is about to bloom. Really good. It's getting me choked up because all you ever saw was the thorns. And now the bulb of the rose is going to be open to you. It may even be in a connection with somebody else. That's really cool. Okay, that's all the message I have for you today. Please continue to like, subscribe. Take care, everyone.